Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and hello everyone. Uh, we are a student of Computer Network Engineering, RK93. Today our title is Automatic Vehicle Control System. The subject is Control System. My name is Muntasar Salah. I'm going to talk about uh, introduction. Automatic controlled vehicle is one of the promising method of automating many jobs without need of human interaction with the system that can be very very useful in a mini application it can it can be used in a warehouse airports wheelchairs and other for example the system can be fitted in vehicles that are used to transfer cargo from place to another within the airport software and mechanical hardware are assembly in integrated in this project we did our best to assure that the user of the system can be assured that he will re he will reach his destination safety safely uh, moreover, moreover we try to design the system so that it can be easy to be implemented for the applications and for, for, for future development objective to find out the solution of this problem and simulate it in Scilab software to get the boot plot and calculate the gain at phase margin of the system to elaborate on automatic vehicle and test the stability test the system stability the aim to evaluate and determine the stability of the system of an automatic vehicle with the transform function stability of the transform function can be determined by finding the gain and phase margin in order to reveal the gain and phase margin of the system the blood diagram is needed however the blood diagram calculated by hand can be a little bit off from the actual value and this can be exterminated by using Scilab to improve the human race in terms of efficient uh, effectiveness cost and reduce human intervention hi I'm Arjun and I'll be explaining the methodology advantages and disadvantages of the system our system is configured by solving the open loop transfer function of the automatic vehicle control system equation. We use Skylab to get the phase margin and gain margin based on the solved open loop transfer function. By the obtained board plot, we analyze the system range and configure it to our desired phase margin compensator lead lag to about 30 degrees. The system advantages are it's easily implemented as the parts required are widely available. Few components can be added to get extra features based on user needs. It's also very cost efficient and can be used in transportation of goods, personal use or dangerous area human cannot reach. The disadvantages of the system is it might not recognize other drivers' reaction and local human driving ethics. This might cause collision when other drivers react to the system. The changes in the road condition could also be dangerous since not all roads are made perfect and some roads are not well maintained. The road rules and regulation from all over the world are also different. The system needs to be configured to accurately detect traffic rules from different countries worldwide. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ahmed Fathi. I'm going to explain results and discussion. We have question number 11, driverless vehicles. It's an open loop transfer function of automatic vehicle control system. It's given by L of S is equal to KV over S multiplied with S over by plus one all to the power of square. So in order for us to, to solve this equation, we have two requirements. A is to draw the load plot of the system and determine the gain and phase margin of the system. Given that KV is equal to by, also we are required to design a compensator for our system using lead or leg technique so that the face margin will be at least 30 30 degree also we are allowed to use scilab in this in this uh, in this project we're going to use scilab and so 
the first thing we have to find to draw the boot plot of the system so we can have the gain and the face margin of the system we need to get the gain and the face margin of this system so in order for us to know how we're gonna design our compensator okay so given that the transfer function g of s is equal to kv over s multiplied with s over pi plus one to all to the power of square we know that the k is given by equal to pi so substituting kg of s is equal to pi s over s over pi plus one square so <clears throat> in these following uh, steps we do this one for anyone or for anyone who wants to solve this equation manually this will make everything easier for him so it become pi multiplied with one over s multiplied with one over s pi plus one over one over s pi plus one these two bars are the combination of s over pi plus one square so we factor both of them it's easier to not factor everything out it will be easier to, for drawing so to draw a system we need to get the phase the margin the magnitude and the phase of that system so the magnitude of the system is the absolute value of its components so we will have and we took the 20 log of that system in order to both plot it so we have 20 log of pi plus 20 log of 1 over j omega few notice here we have 2 1 over j omega each one of them will produce 20 log 1 over j omega by plus 1 that's why we have the addition of them 40 log 1 over j omega by plus 1 this is the the magnitude of the system and this one is the face of the system is given by the angle of pi and the angle of 1 over j omega and angle over the 1 over j omega by plus 1 so using this one we can draw our our uh, our graph or both plot so the phi phi is required from us to obtain to obtain the maximum phi we need to find in our system so we need to if we see that b required is given 30 in the question if you read before we have at least 30 so it's 30 minus 21 plus 15 in the in, in front we can explain how did we get these values but we need to remember it's b required plus b current plus 15. 15 is this for safety reasons so we get the phi is equal uh, phi max is 23.3 <laughs> drawing the the previous equation we uh, this is the numerator of the g of s this is the denominator then we use the syslin function it's used to to uh, to draw the uh, or to obtain the transfer function using a denominator and denominator also we use this function based uh, phase margin of the transfer function to get the phase and the gain cross over frequency this is the in given in hertz but we need it in radian per second also this is the current phase margin before here we got 21.46 it's from here okay continuing this is the drawing of this system if we see here this is the drawing of the system we got this is the uh, the uh, magnitude and this one is the phase Okay, of the of the initial gc of s so we need to shift this system at least by 30 degree so we know that the current phase is 21.69 and the frequency is the is the uh, gain crossover frequency that we obtained it was 0 0.34 hertz but we need to have the omega of that system so we need to read to use radian values so we change it to by multiplying it with 2 by f so omega c is equal to 2 by f so we obtain that omega c is equal to 2.13 radian per second okay so in order for us to uh, design a compensator for this system we require two things an alpha the value of alpha and alpha and the value of tau so all the following calculations is to obtain the value of alpha and to obtain the value of tau so we know the uh, phi maximum is equal to sine inverse of alpha minus one alpha plus one we already obtained the phi max before so we know it's 23.3 uh, equal to sine inverse so substituting these values and solving the equation we can obtain that the alpha is equal to 2.308 so we already obtained alpha 
omega m is also omega c so it's the same we have omega c and we have we know that omega c is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by the square root of alpha so from solving or rearranging this equation we can get that tau is equal to 1 over uh, omega uh, omega m multiplied with the square root of alpha so we obtain that tau is equal to 0 0.284 so we have the two components that we require to draw the compensator so gc of s is the equation of the compensator the part of the <coughs> compensator is equal to 1 plus alpha tau s over 1 plus uh, tau this is the equation for a lead system if you have a lag system the alpha location will be in the denominator not in the denominator so substituting the values we get that that we obtained before 1 plus 0.66 s over 1 plus 0.848 s sorry there is a s missing here uh, <clears throat> so the last the last system will be or the last board plot of the system will be installing this common system in the system so we'll be multiplying gc of s multiplied with g of s itself so this is the, the gc of s that we obtained gc of s and also this is G the gs this value <coughs> is the uh, already uh, solved to be inserted in the MATLAB in the scilab immediately to get the results so <coughs> this is the denominator and the denominator of the gc of s the numerator and the denominator of gc of s this is the g of s this is g of c uh, gc of s so we get the uh, the multiplication of them num of c over den of c this is the gc of s this one is g of s then we get the transfer function using the MATLAB also we obtain that we got the phase margin is equal to 29.09 .09. it's approximately 30 which is required from our system so we try to use lag but we didn't get 29 we got 25 27 so this is also the system after it's have been shifted 30 degree if again if you can notice here the values is uh, at zero when it's five in the previous it's not that it's before so this is how we shifted our system and by obtaining this values we can see that we have successfully obtained the requirement of the system that it has to be at least 30 and thank you Hello everybody, my name is Hussein and I would like to proceed with the conclusion. In conclusion, leads combinator had zero closer to the origin than the balls. Its improved transistor response it helped to increase error constants up to some extent and it's allowed to pass high frequencies and it weights lower frequencies and increase phase shaft. The system should become more commonplace with the pass uh, with the passage of time. People are living in a networked world and constantly feel that they have less time on their hands. It's been jokingly said that uh, the more developed or more metropolitan countries is the more time a citizen waste behind the steering wheel. With that being said, to the perfect technology, it might take a several years, but this project is surely a step on the right direction. Prevention, it's better than sure. It's better than cure. So, instead of treating patients after an accident, accident should be prevented by incorporating the system.